Right. It's another place. The problem with biblical Jews... It is down that way, but right. it's not Mecca. Okay. So this is the problem. Biblical geography is not established. There are two things. Uh, the, one by things. The, by the chronology yeah, of yeah, the Egyptians yeah, yeah. or Sometimes the Egyptian the chronology is not established. The sun, you know, always estimate. He's making weird noise. He put on his leg. Five yeah, yeah, periods yeah. of zero. No, the mic. Uh, so, so they have uh, ranges. So this could be between this period and this period. Yeah, they can never say yeah. anything to certain yeah. when it comes to that's, that's, that's what Likewise, to biblical geography is, is like that. There are three Arabians. Yeah, he's done that. Oh, sorry. Three Parans. He moved to a mic. Okay, I mean, three Parans. Is that a knife? Okay. Scholars so have identified three Galilee Parans, yeah. which is the word to read it. Uh, read, read the word in Arabic. It would be Parans. Is it all men in So, yeah, this is fair. This is true. So, so, so there is, there is a set. You check it. Yeah, there was. There, no, there no. was a settlement called uh, Taka. Uh, uh, no, we claim no, that it's Baka. And it, it, it was where really exactly the it. well of Zamba is today and where the is. We claim that. No, no, the map is off. Other than that, I think we can only okay. do the. First of all, um, pre Islamic maps. Well. Okay, let's say the max map, map of Ptolemy. Ptolemy was you a. Can problem, do it. You, know, right? you have to have a special oh, yeah. wire. Yeah. His map is not accurate. There is no map. That was 100% accurate. Accuracy started to come in, I would say, after the 16th century. When the European explorers went out and they started to draw maps that were relatively accurate. Okay. In fact, even up to the 19th century, maps of the world were not fully accurate. So that maps cannot be used as an argument to claim that Mecca was not where it is today. No, that would be absurd. We have many the reasons to every other settlement is mentioned. Would indicate that Mecca not, wasn't extant at that not time. Not necessarily. Was, no. There were major cities. Yeah, it's a fair. It's a fair assumption. No, no. They, they wouldn't just go. They wouldn't just go. Well, let's draw a map. Let's miss Mecca. What? First of all, first of all, first of all, there are major cities that are mentioned in these maps, ancient maps. Yeah. Okay. Mecca. I am saying. I am saying Mecca was not one of those. Mecca was a town, it was a small town inhabited by a very few people, maybe a few hundred, not even a few thousand, a few hundred people. Okay. So why would that town be on a map of the world where people are using these maps to have an idea of major settlements like Carthage, like Rome, or like, like, uh, like uh, you know, ancient Egyptian cities for example, or Tripoli for example. Um, in Lebanon or Tripoli in Libya, because there were three cities called Tripolis. So why would these major towns be mentioned and Mecca not mentioned? Because Mecca was a very small chapter. It became significant after the rise of Islam. That's it. Mecca became important as a city, as a settlement after the rise of Islam. I am going to look into what the other towns are. Yeah. Okay, any, anyway, what point does it make? I mean, if Mecca, let's say Mecca is non-existent on the map, but it's still there. We have, we, 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 we know historically Muhammad was born in a city called Mecca, and he had followers, they followed him, they created a civilization, they created an empire, empire that was based in Medina and Mecca, and then elsewhere. So, still, it's okay. Yeah. And then it moved to Damascus, and yeah, moved to Baghdad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Buddha was Indian. What books well, are there? No I, 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 I would like to know. I would like to know. I'll tell you where I've been. There's a good article about it. It's on a, a Sikh website. A Sikh network. And there are quotes from diaries of the uh, invaders. So why don't you... There are quotes why, from diaries. You, 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 take the time and have a You look like an intelligent person. Discuss, I'm sure, I'm sure you, are, you are well read as well. Why would you go to... Let's say an anti-Islam website and read articles on Islam. It's called why, Sikh Net. Why would why would you say it's anti-Islam? Because a lot of the Sikhs see Islam as uh, as a brutal force. Well, I think a lot of the planet does at the moment. The planet has been brainwashed. 
if the planet takes but first of all half the planet is muslim first of all half the planet is muslim so not a lot of the planet half the planet is muslim and the other half is very decent people very small minority of uh, folks and xenophobes and islamophobes they are the ones who think like this i'm telling you i'm being very honest majority of the british people don't even think like this let alone the planet majority of the british people are very loving compassionate people they have perfect relationships with muslims walking around they don't think like this only Tommy Robinson style or type of people who, who have no education, uh, a lot of them are jobless, drug addicts, okay. and they are from a very uh, underprivileged background, unfortunately. Because they have failed in life, they blame the Muslims for it. Because Muslims have become the Negro of the day. Okay, Just as the Negroes, uh, so-called, were targeted in the U.S. for all the problems of the U.S., and then... Uh, and in the rest of the Western world, uh, just like the Jews were targeted once upon a time in Europe, and then there was a Holocaust. Now the Muslims are facing the brunt of this racist wave that's going through terrible. Europe. I Europe. Mean, so, so, so when will, when will, we're when, terrible. yeah, yeah, those, no, we're really uh, bad. those racist people are absolutely really terrible. Bad. They are terrible. All, those all terrible the racists, all the racists are terrible. You know? All the white supremacists. All the racist yeah. white people, I'm saying no racist white people Islamic are terrible. Yes, All the decent white people no are part of the Islamic world. Uh, yeah. No, it doesn't no, exist. It doesn't exist. No, it doesn't exist. We don't how believe. Much is Demi, how much is what Demi charges? Sorry, how much is less than your taxes? You, if, if you are less than your taxes, less than your taxes. <laughs> less than your taxes. <laughs> Less than, this is. I will show you what you a like dimmy pay. You want to see it? I will show you what a dimmy pay. Got this, this is what a dimmy. This is what a dimmy pay. It's a gold coin. It's, it's a, a dinar. It's, not it's a dinar. No, that's the point. That is the point. And it is 4.25 grams of gold, which is equivalent to 250 pounds. A rich dimmy, a rich Jew who may be a multi-millionaire, is paying one gold dinar. Yeah, but okay. it wasn't too and, back then. Sorry? It wasn't the value back then. The value wasn't that high back then. No, no, it was, let's say, they could buy a, like go a goat. They, they could buy a goat. So, so, so my problem is, those racist white people out there, who are racist, just because they don't like others. What do you they, think about colonialism? Yeah. What do you think are you proud of colonialism? What do I think about colonialism? Yeah, yeah colonialism. The colonialism. British, Br British, British. The Ottomans? No, British, Ottomans? British. Colonialism? The worst, the worst. Who's colonialism? The worst colonialism. British colonialism. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. Yeah. It's the worst. Worst. It's the worst. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk Let's talk about it. How many million do you know how many million people died under British colonialism in India alone? You were talking about India early. It, you, it them to death. No, no, no. The numbers he was talking about during the Muslim invasions of India are absolutely uh, uh, inflated and they are lies. No academic, no historian of the Indian history accepts those numbers today. But all historians, all major important historians are unanimous that the British colonial rule from 1880 to 1920, in these 40 years, 100 million people were killed. 100 million people. no evidence for what he's saying. Here's the evidence. Oh, what's this? Watch. I'm going to give you the names of the scholars. Great haters are us. No, no, no. no. They, they, they are white. They are white. <laughs> Those who wrote the articles are also white. So huh? it's not a bunch of Muslims huh? with turbans writing You better articles. move out, mate, if we're that nasty. Right? You better move out. No, no, no. I love, I love British people. I love Bri about I school, love though. British people. I love British people. Why but those those who are racist, I have nothing but sympathy for them. Those who are racist, because not all the British are you saying all the British people are racist? Said, said exactly. Thank you. So we we are mutually What's the most we are mutually country every year that's voted? Oh it's India, isn't it? India, India is India's the most racist India, country every year. India is not Muslim, by the way. <laughs> no, I know it's not. Okay. I know it's okay. Not. Yeah. So, so, okay. So I'm going to show you the I'll article. Throw the flag where it's supposed to go. I'm not, I'm not picking it. Here, here's the article. Where would you be without the British? Let's see. You'd have no airplanes, no telephones, Al no television, Al no telephones, no vaccinations, no okay. inoculations, no Al advanced Jazeera. medicine. Al Jazeera. You'd have nothing. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no heckling, no heckling. No. Al Jazeera article by two, uh, Al Jazeera. two scholars, two, by two scholars, Dylan Sullivan and Jason Hickel have written an article oh, on Al Jazeera, that. That, yeah. 2nd of December, 2022. The yeah. article is titled, 
how British colonialism killed a hundred million Indians in 40 years. And then the subheading is between 1880 to 1920, British colonial policies in India claimed more lives than all famines in the Soviet Union, Maoist China, and North Korea combined. First point of my Are you proud of that? First point Are you proud of that? That's a simple of question. Are you, Are you proud of that? First point do you condemn first, first point. Do you condemn it? Let's do the condemning first point Let's do the condemning game. Do you condemn it? First, first do you condemn it? First point of do you mind. condemn it? Answer my question condemn it? and then ask me. This is how we feel on the media when we go on the media. Yeah. How do, do you condemn it? Do you condemn it? Yeah, but I'm not always fucking more. Do you condemn it? I ask you one question. Are you dismissing? Let's, let's, are you let's, dismissing? No, no, no. Let's, let, for the sake of argument. So keep your millions. For the sake of all the, the millions of people. Argument, let's assume those numbers are true. They are. I mean, they are estimated. Right. So for the sake of this. Let's argument, assume a million is true. Let's. Assume. They claim a hundred million. No. Okay. Let's assume a million is true. Here's is that the still justified? Here's the question. Justified. Oh, okay. Did we do it deliberately? Uh, yes. Colonialism in India. Yes. One hundred percent. Deliberate policies of British colonial officers that killed estimated a hundred million people yeah, according to this article and these historians. And these two. Uh, yes. So, I'll, I'll tell you not you. Not you. No, 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 not no, you. No, British no. colonial officers. So, so they set out. Those who were racist. They set out to deliberately kill a hundred million people. One hundred. Why? Why absolutely. Was absolutely. So what's their motivation? Actually, give an example. Their motivation was to reduce the population of India. Okay. And save as much money as possible so that they can bring back that money to Britain. Britain was made during most of London, over 70 to 80 percent of London, the, all the historic beautiful buildings you see in red granite were made during the Victorian period. All the money, if not all the money, overwhelming majority of the money came from India. India was looted, bled dry. You don't believe me? There's a book by an Indian author called Shashi Tharoor. He has written this book titled Inglorious Empire. Inglorious Empire. In this book, he gives all the details how the British literally drained India dry of money and of food. And hundreds of millions of Indians died from 1750 to 1947 when the British came to rule as a colonial power. In India, they killed hundreds of millions of people deliberately as a policy. And don't forget, they used to grow cash crops. So, so this is what food. this is what all these so racist then, people are not told about. What the, racist the, the, all those people who are writing, I'm talking about the right. Those who, those people who are writing, who are destroying shops and businesses and causing havoc just because they think or they have conceptions like you do, right? They have misconceptions about Muslims. They have been. Uh, brainwashed by the Zionist paid drug addicts and thugs who are running around and they are brainwashing people like you. Like Tommy Robinson. Like Tommy Robinson. I'm talking about. And Douglas Murray. And Douglas Murray. These are the people who are brainwashing perfectly intelligent people like yourself. And then people, normal people like you, turn into monsters and don't, they go and do writing, not knowing what the hell are they doing. And then the government comes down hard on them and gives them sentences. So, but why do you think? Why do you think they burned police vans, destroyed places of work? Oh, why do you think they did that? Thank you for asking my opinion as an Englishman. Yes. Right. Do you agree with that? You have, any, you have no idea. No, we're talking about Southport, the reason why she said. Yeah, I know about Southport. Why do you think they burned the police vans? Okay, so no, places no, of worship. This is an adjective. Let's just mention Southport. Why, when Southport happened, did everybody immediately think Muslim? That's what we want to know. Why? 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 Well, Tommy look, Robinson. Look, look, we can we you know we, we do hear things we do understand what's going on you know I mean the Westminster Bridge attack Lee Reaping, all of these things all of these and things the van driver the the, 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 the the van driver I allowed you what was his name it's okay let him, let him I've allowed you to all of these incidents over the last 20 years involving involving Muslims blowing up trains blowing up buses Chopping people's heads off. 
why would we think it's the Jehovah's so think, Witnesses? So you think the Southport is because of that? No. no. So why? That's no, the question no, no, I asked no, no, no. The question was, you mentioned Southport. Yeah, so why do you saying, think that happens? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He, he's, got, he's got a fair point. Just, he's got a fair point. Yeah. He's saying because of all these incidents. So it builds up. Natu the, naturally, the perception, the perception is that a Muslim might have done it. But guess what? The reason why you have this perception is because of the brainwashing. Because there are white people, white people committing worse crimes. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait. When did you hear last, when did you hear last a white man walked into a shopping mall, sprayed people dead? Brevik in Norway killed over yeah, 70. Why did he do that? What, what, are you going to blame Muslims for that no, as well? No, 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 okay, okay, then, not. okay, okay. Why did you Thank do God that? for that. No, we're not getting blamed for that. Why did okay, you do so, that? so the point I'm making is there are, there are terror attacks taking place all around the world from all sorts of different people. Okay, they are white, they are black, they are Muslim, they are Christian. Wait, wait. Only the Muslims are magnified. Okay, only this magnified. is the point I'm making. They are magnified because go on Ray, Ray, Raymond Abraham's site and just look up. Who the hell is that? Well, I think there you go. Look him up. Well, I, I read I read academics. I read uh, academics. Jolly good. I, I just Abraham's I just pulled out two academics and showed you the numbers. Excellent. Raymond Abraham's site. And every, I, I don't know who every, that is. Well, you're, then, you're, then learn. You're, 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 you're are you really interested in anyone else's story? Or are you no, I'm not interested. In... I know you're on camera and you're going to you're do your dawah on camera. That's fine. That's I do, I, I do <laughs> do that. However, however, I do, I do. however <laughs> Raymond <laughs> Abraham has a site, a website. Oh, the, I don't know who that is. It doesn't matter whether you know who he is or not. So any Tom, Dick, and Harry can do You know Robert Spencer? Ra yeah, I know Robert Spencer. Do so you want me to take information from him? Raymond Abraham is also an academic. Okay, I don't know. Right. Raymond Abraham, on his website, every month he has a list of Islamic attacks around the world, say in northern Nigeria or in Pakistan, against Christians. Similar to Robert Spencer, Jihad Watch. He also has a list yeah, of that still going, uh, attacks. Jihad? Okay. Yeah, so, it's pretty, so now, pretty now, now, if you if you were not being fed, if you were not being fed yeah. by Maybe you read no, watch, no, 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 no one, no one, no one, no head off screaming okay. in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, okay. I'll tell you. Uh, actually, I'll tell they you. did that in New Zealand. Uh, when they in New Zealand, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, uh, uh, exactly what they did. In New Zealand, oh, you the bomber, yeah. no, actually, the president said, "Thank God." The president said of America. Wait, 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 wait. When, no. when the British colonial officers... Anyway, I still got wait, to mention wait. my original point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah we're coming to that. When the white guy, the Christian white person in New Zealand walked into a mosque, sprayed 50 people dead, yeah. on his gun, he had Christian symbols and dates yeah. that denote famous battles, like the Battle of Kosovo 1389, the First Crusade, and things like that. He was a crusader. He was a Christian. Brevik... Brevik, wait, wait, I'm, 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 Brevik, Brevik, who killed over 70 people in Norway and is serving lifetime right now uh, in Norway, he, in his manifesto, he mentioned people by name, like Robert Spencer, and inspiration from him, and he mentioned Knights Templars, okay, all these things. So, don't give me this BS that only the Muslims are doing these things and others are not, okay, you have been brainwashed by your... Zionist Islamophobic media that is doing this brainwashing of the masses, making them think that only the Muslims are committing these atrocities and crimes. Even let's take grooming, grooming gangs as an example. We say put those scumbags in jail. Pakistani, Nigerian, or English, or English. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay. Do your dawah. Hello, everybody. He's saying we are the first condemned. It. We, we are saying we condemn all of them. Okay. So, 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 no, talk, talk. I'm not asking you not to talk. Do the same, do the same thing. Look, when you have no answers, you, can, you want to walk away. I know, I understand. I understand why you're walking away. I understand why you're walking away. No, you don't even dare. I've to continue. You want the mics? I've had all kinds of conversations in these countries with Muslims. Okay. I've known 
thousands of Muslims. So then life. why are you okay. citing I've got no sources? No qualms about standing here and having a conversation. But you're just having your rant into the camera. I'm here. Okay, myself. I'll talk to you. We've come wherever it's from, and we've come here for a chill out, it's a bit of a chat, now. whatever. But stop and stand here. Stop right now. now. Being a part of your little side show. Continue, continue. But we don't agree with you. No, agree. you weren't an answer right. to this, why the guys are writing. Yes. I was standing here as a bloody English. But you gave me as an English man. You said recent Abraham's guy who has a list. Who has a list of our catastrophes? You guys can't help yourself. No, because you're making claims you that you cannot yourself. see. I would explain to you. You're making what the claims. I would do that. And you explain. But you're just doing your dawa here. Right? You explain. Well, you you explain. You said there is a guy documenting you Muslim crimes, and I'm highlighting the problem. I'm highlighting the problem. Be That's what I'm doing. You have not even identified. You don't even know have, why the guys were right. I do. I do. They were brainwashed. They are. They are. Brain, they are mostly uneducated drug addicts, thugs, thugs, racist scumbags. They are the ones who are writing. They are the ones who are writing. People who have no brains. People who have no brains. They are the ones who are writing. You're not even close. Tell us. Educate. The ones in South was because of the false and the fake news. No, you have a chance to educate thousands of people out there. Educate them. Tell them why the writers did what they did. Tell them. Why not? Because there are so many people who I want to know no, an Englishman's view. Not, you but you can't just get up there and walk away. Well, he's he's allowing, he's I'm allowing telling you to speak. He, that's what you guys okay. always do. Okay. Okay. Go on. Go on. Go on. Speak. Go on. Speak. Go on. speak. Maybe next Sunday. Speak. I don't need a chance. I don't need a chance. I know why he's upset. I know why he's upset. Don't be upset. Talk. Talk. I'm just bored. Talk. I'm bored. Talk. You tell guys, us why the rioters. Do, tell us. You see me as a white guy, and you think, oh, here's a little victim. Well, one thing for sure. No, I didn't think that. I'm no victim. I didn't right? think that. Right? You think I'll stand here and I'll get my face on camera and try and humiliate this guy. I have that no lack of work. cameras. I can pull some stuff out of my rear end about Mohammed, right, and put you on the spot. Okay. Which Go ahead. Mansour and he kind of dodged it about, oh, well, you know. No, you had to agree with us that Jesus did not do Have some more. Have some more. Have some more. No, no, he needs it. Have some more. Have some more. Have some more. But the thing is, look, we, we both agree that we should, we should condemn the extremists. It doesn't matter what background they're from. Wait, you're, you're just ranting. You're not talking. Take water. Take water. Take water. He's, he's, he's not going to get lost. He's, he's a, no, no. Take water. Take water. Have a seat. 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 Have, we'll start again. Tell us why the rioters are justified to riot. Tell us. Did I say they were justified? Yeah. No, no, you didn't. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. Correct me. Correct me. I'm wrong. Next week. So, 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 look, look, look. So the problem is, the problem is, when we have an informed. But definitely next week. I will tell you. I want it now. I want it now. You have to mix it with all the women I know. I want it now. No, next week we can have the conversation. No, now, now. But you have to understand. You have to allow me to speak. I would speak now. I would allow me to speak. I'll give you. I'll give you the mic. You got your side show going. No, I don't care about the show. You are changing your interest. I am. I'll take. I am trying to educate people. I'm trying to educate people. If you want to go, that's fine. You can. So, 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 so. Thank you very much. So, I'm just finishing this. Okay. The reason why we were having this conversation is to highlight the mindset that drives these rights and this behavior. It is very ill-informed, very ignorant, very, very under or uneducated. And the reason, the reason why we have to educate ourselves is to realize that when one particular community is magnified and they are, to, they are made to look like criminals and all other people are not treated the same way, okay, then what happens is you get genocides, you get riots, you get murders, you get acid attacks, you get mass murder. What happened to the Jewish people? Let me use the Jewish people as an example. The Jewish people in Europe were demonized and dehumanized to the extent that the Europeans committed many pogroms, many mass murders and genocides of the Jewish people. The numbers are so high that academics have written books on this phenomenon. Anti-Jew hatred in the West world and the accumulation was the Holocaust. Okay, the Holocaust wasn't just born from a vacuum. 
genocide is a process. People are brainwashed for a very long time before they end up killing each other. Just like what happened in Rwanda and, uh, and when, when those two tribes, the Hutus and the Tutsis, ended up committing a genocide against each other because there was a process of brainwashing. The Hutus were brainwashed into thinking that the Tutsis are cockroaches. They are not human beings, feel no mercy. So hundreds of thousands of machetes were produced and they were supplied to people and they went out killing. In a hundred days, in a hundred days, a million people were killed. I have seen the memorials with my own eyes. The games these Zionists and the cronies are playing, they know what they're doing. They are already, they are already committing a genocide in, in, in Palestine. And, and, and to turn attention away from their crimes, because a lot of the British public went against them. When the British public saw all these bombings and, and ripped apart children, children, children with blown up, blown up, blown away bodies, that, that's when the British people realized, hold on a second, is this what we are supporting? Is this what our government is supporting? Are these the people we are selling weapons to? This is when the Zionists realized that we have to create another problem in Britain in order to take attention away from us. So Islamophobia, deflect, deflect and cause hatred against Muslims. Start posting fake news or like the, 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 the incident in um, Southport is an example. As soon as it happened, three girls were stabbed. Three little princesses were taken away from their parents. Okay, what happens immediately these racist drug addict thugs on Twitter and amazingly Elon Musk is in it. He is in it. Not only that, he is a very close friend of Netanyahu. He has given back banned accounts of these people to them on Twitter. Tommy Robinson was banned from Twitter. Martin Sellner, an Austrian racist right wing a propagator was also banned. His account has been given back to him so that they can spread hatred against Muslims to cause riots, to suppress and oppress Muslims. At the same time, take attention away from Zionist crimes and put attention on the Muslims. So inflate Islamophobia because COVID gave us some respite. The Western media, BBC, Sky News, Sky, you know, Fox News and CNN, all these channels, okay, they were nonstop bombarding the Western audiences with Islamophobic content and inflating it. Even, I'll give you one classic example, how this media is working in this way. The grooming gang scandal. The grooming gang scandal where some girls were raped by some Asian, South Asian individuals, Rochdale and other places. That scandal was so inflated and those those people by the way are scumbags they should be thrown into prison and three keys should be thrown away we have no sympathy with such scumbags, whether they are white black green or blue okay whatever they may be whoever they are but amazingly amazingly what was said what was said even recently this woman this you know, unfortunate woman, Suela Braverman, she was saying, the problem is with Pakistani men. The problem is with Pakistani men. But when we look at the statistics put by academics, we see that proportionally, proportionally speaking, in proportion to the populations and the numbers of people in this country, white men are the biggest culprits. They are the biggest number of child abusers and pedophiles. This is a fact. I will present it right now if you demand. Okay? There are academic papers and news reports that state that proportionally speaking, in proportion to the numbers of people in this country, in proportion to the populations, white people are the largest group that represent the number of pedophiles and child abusers. Not only in this country, but those who are traveling to Far East, Southeast Asian countries to have sex with younger girls in Thailand, in Philippines, in Vietnam, white men throughout from the whole, from the entire Western world, not only Britain, from all over Europe, from Australia, because, because Australia is very close to Southeast Asia, 
and even from the US, they are traveling to Southeast Asia where they can easily find young girls to have sex with. Human trafficking as well. And human tra a lot. There's, so, so if we want to talk about child abuse, we should talk about it fairly, justly, not target one specific community and put the lens on them and try to claim that these are the only people who are doing it. Go for them. Make their lives difficult. Again, this is what we call brainwashing. And all of this is funded by Zionist paymasters who are paying for this propaganda against Muslims in the West because they don't want any Muslims to speak up about Palestine. They don't want any Muslims to feel the confidence and the courage to speak about speak up for the rights of the Palestinians. So that's why this dehumanization of the Muslims is taking place. They don't care if Britain burns. These people, don't, they are burning Palestine right now. They are firing rockets into the buildings and they are ripping little children apart. Why would they care about the children of Britain and the streets of Britain? They will put fire to Britain if it saves them. These who people don't care. Them? Who gives them the arms? Who gives them the arms? We are selling arms to them. Our government is selling arms to them. So this is the context. These riots did not just come from a vacuum. Rather, there is propaganda campaign behind it. There is concerted effort to inflate hatred against one particular community here and focus on them so that attention from Palestine can be taken away and the genocide that's taking place is ignored. So the British people suddenly become more interested in what's happening in Britain, immigration. We say the same thing. We, the Muslims, are saying the same thing. Control immigration. If you open the gates of Britain, what are you going to do? What's going to happen? Well, half of Africa will be here. Half of Africa will be here, okay? Have controlled immigration. No country on the planet can open the floodgates to, of immigration into its house or into its, its, its territory. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get all sorts of people coming in who will cause problems here, right? So no one is for, but the question is, this is not about immigration. All of this sham that has been created on media and on social media in particular, uh, um, Elon Musk, who opened up all these accounts of racist thugs, drug addicts like Tommy Robinson, a drug addict, a <laughs> cocaine addict. He caused riots here and then he went to Cyprus with his family to have a holiday. He's it's literally wanted. on a swimming pool on a bed and directing riots in Britain. And he's wanted for fraud. And he's wanted for fraud, Criminal mortgage. Yes. Criminal damage, criminal activity, and there are testimonies that this guy he spends all the money these gullible English people give to him for his campaign. He spends them on hookers and clubs and cocaine. That's Tommy Robinson. By the way, did you notice the white supremacy spin that guy made? Oh, you guys wouldn't have anything without our inventions. I mean, these guys were the dark ages when the Muslims were having. Medicine. Look, I believe, I, know, believe, med med I believe this was a human endeavor. Yeah. Muslims pioneered science and philosophy in Spain. Many Englishmen, German men, French so men came to Spain. Chinese, they learned the Arabic language. They took this knowledge back to these countries. And then we had the 12th century Renaissance. And then we had the 15th century Renaissance. This is another topic. How the Muslims influenced the world. What they don't like to talk about is the Muslim civilization how we produce some of the greatest scholars, poets, thinkers, intellectuals, theologians, scientists, uh, some of the greatest observatories, some of the greatest work of science that were destroyed by the Mongols in Baghdad and then later on in Spain by the Catholics when they took Granada, the last stronghold of Islam and Muslims in Spain. Okay, this is another history. Coming back to Britain, what's happening here is, is well planned, it is intended and Muslims are the target. Muslim community are the targets of this concerted effort to suppress, oppress, and to subdue our voice for the rights of the Palestinians. This is one of the reasons. Second reason for these riots and this hate campaign in Britain is to turn the attention away of the British people from Israeli crimes and make them think that the Muslims are a real problem. So Islamophobia, brother, sorry, sorry. Islamophobia, 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 it, it achieves many targets, many objectives, many, many objectives. 
Sorry, when you talk, it disturbs me. Sorry, I don't apologize. Apologize. Okay. Sorry. So, it achieves many objectives. What objectives? One, it keeps the Muslim population in living in the West subdued, scared, in a state of fear, and they're, gonna, they're not going to come out and campaign for the rights of the Palestinians. They shouldn't have the rights other people have. This is the attempt. Second achievement from Islamophobia is that no one, none of these Western masses will feel sorry for the Palestinians. When we blow up Palestinian children, when we rip them apart, when half-cut bodies are being pulled out of the rubble, these British masses, they will see these images and they, because of Islamophobia, because of the hatred for Islam and Muslims, they won't feel sorry for the Muslims. They won't feel any sympathy for them because we have taken away that sympathy. We have dehumanized the Muslims to the extent, oh, these are child groomers. They are rape rapists. Okay, they are terrorists. They are extremists. They are backward. They are misogynists. They hate women. They oppress women. All of these things are being put out on the media for a reason, so that sympathy for the Muslims is completely removed from the hearts and the minds of the Western uh, audiences or Western people. I'm talking, when I say the Western people, I mean Germany, France, Britain, Italy, Spain, Australia, Canada, US. This is a concerted effort, global effort, to demonize and dehumanize Muslims so that there is no sympathy left in the minds of people. Well, and that, another, that, another, another, another benefit, uh, another important achievement. I to mention that yeah. when you, you speak, I know you spoke about the Islamophobes in particular, yeah. but most of the people who are rallying for Palestine, pro Palestine, many of them are white Europeans, you know? Yes, and, and this, is what scared, the world. this is what scared, well. this is what, this is what, this is what, this is what, this is what sent this is what sent shivers down their spines, the spines the of the Zionists. The first time in the history of this country, such a large number of British people, white, English, British people, okay, even Scots and the Welsh and all those people put together, they came out to condemn the genocide of Palestinian people in Gaza. And this is why they came up with this new plan. Okay, now turn the tide and turn it against the Muslims put so much hatred on Muslims that the British people forget about what's happening in Gaza and they start <coughs> hating the Muslims and start rioting, start rioting. So, and what happened is like these people who actually were pro-Palestine rallies, not riots, they came with their children, they were all peaceful, not a single policeman burned or places of worship destroyed or they even had to deploy, you know, riot police. Millions of them come, and it happened like every weekend. This road, yes. Park Lane, Park Lane, all the way, all the Park way. Lane. Over a million people marched. I was, I was a witness. I was here myself. Over a million people marched from all backgrounds. We saw all colors, all races, all religions, all people walking here. A million people. Was there any okay. violence? No violence. Zero no violence. burning. Yes. No rioting. No damage to anyone's shops or property. These thugs. These drug addicts, these racist thugs come out and they start burning and pillaging. And they are only a few hundred. So that's why those people out there who may think that this is what the British people are like, you're wrong. We know the good side of the British people. We have seen it. British people in general are some of the most noble and compassionate people in the world. We have seen their compassion. We have lived there for, for decades. I've been here for more than 25 years. Okay, We have seen nothing but good behavior, and compassion. Don't mistake few thugs for the entire nation. Just like I would say, don't look at some Muslim thugs and think that all Muslims are like this. No, absolutely. You need to see those professors, those doctors, Muslims, those uh, computer scientists, those consultants who are conducting, uh, you know, to just, just for the lighter note, Princess Diana fell in love with a Pakistani guy because he was a heart surgeon, right? So, if, if you don't, I don't know if you've seen this uh, movie, uh, Diana. Diana, yeah, it's a very moving uh, story of Princess Diana. She, she, she actually went into this operation theater, she saw the guy doing his job, she fell in love with him. Okay, of course, she was single at the time, she needed a husband. The guy, he didn't want all that pressure. He said, please, uh, we don't know what he was told or said. Uh, uh, the, the point I'm making is, these kind of people are working in hospitals. They are professors, they are doctors, they are engineers. They are contributing to the society. Don't ignore them. They have given their lives and their blood and sweat to this country. Don't do this to them. Who have brought their families there, they have made Britain their home and they are contributing in a good way.
Okay, don't use the bad examples to uh, to uh, uh, ignore and underestimate the efforts of all those great people, Muslims uh, from all backgrounds, who have given Muslims, their life and service. Because without the immigrants, what would they? All immigrants, have? all immigrants. I'm talking about Indians who are Hindus. I'm talking about Africans. all the Africans who are Christians who have come to this country, they have made a life for themselves. If someone is on drugs in a council state and you cannot make your life better, it's not the fault of a Nigerian doctor. Okay, if you cannot go to school and college or university and educate yourself enough to have a, have a good future, this is not the fault of that Indian engineer or a Pakistani doctor. Okay, they have studied Sorry, you're Bangladeshi. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> How can I forget Bangladesh? Okay. But don't forget Absolutely. That, they, and, and, and the Bengalis. All the Bengalis. All the beautiful rest. White people in this country, they love the Bengali food. They go to Bengali restaurants and it's so tasty. So, so please try to understand. And also and in the care homes. Yeah. When you leave your old parents in the care homes, who will be looking after them? Yeah. Immigrants. Most likely 70% chances Africa. is an immigrant. Yes. yes. But again, at the same time, we are not in favor of loose, uncontrolled immigration. No one is. Yes. That would be madness. You would have criminals coming in, committing crimes in, right? Immigration should be controlled. It should be vetted. It should be uh, legal. Uh, legal. People should be allowed to come in legally. Uh, when they are needed and there are many people who are bringing skilled labor into this country, right? They are bringing value to this the country. The NHS, the transport okay. system, yeah. you name it. And, and, and there's a beautiful thing here in Britain, right? So all those racist thugs working for foreign powers, for their agendas to destroy their own country, you're not nationalists, you are not someone who loves your country, you are nothing but just a bunch of drug addicts and you're doing it for fun. You're doing it because you like violence, you like to get drunk and get hooked or high Please and then go and commit violence. And yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm not going to say football hooligans because not all, all football fans are like that as well. There are few individuals who have this kind of mentality and they belong in jail. And kudos to the government for charging some of these people and putting mm. them in jail. Anyone who behaves like this, put them in jail. Anyone who riots and breaks apart property and terrorizes people. Uh, communities put them in jail. That's it. Kudos to the government. Thank you. Thank you very much.